Stop, I'm so scared of this. And the helium is gonna go right inside our drink. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be testing out TikTok science hacks. What does she say? You heard it right. Not life hacks or food hacks, but science hacks. I've been seeing a lot of science experiments slash hacks on my For You page and you guys know that I love to put things to the test. So in this video, I'm going to let you know if they're worth trying or if you shouldn't even waste your time trying this out. But before we get started with today's video, I do have to announce the giveaway winner from our previous video. So congratulations. Now if you did not win, please don't be discouraged. You can still enter the giveaway all you have to do is like this video subscribe to my channel and go to my latest Instagram picture and comment whatever you want for a chance to win $100 and make sure to hit that bell so I can notify you every single time that I post a new video because in the next video I will be announcing the winner and without any further ado let's go ahead and let's get started before we get started with the science hacks I do want to say please do not try any of this at home this is only for professionals or should I say PETA Scientist. All right, let's get started with science hack at number one. What do you think about flavor? It's new. It's pretty good. What? <laughs> Okay, so for our first science experiment, apparently if you take helium in a balloon, you put it inside your drink, you shake it up a little bit, and then you drink it, you will sound like a chipmunk. I don't think this is true, but I'm gonna try it out. Okay, we're gonna take our balloon. We're going to put some helium in here. Boom! <laughs> Stop, I'm so scared of this. Okay, that should be enough. We're gonna take our balloon. Now we're gonna poke a hole in our soda can. Just like that, we're going to put the balloon right on top and the helium is gonna go right inside our drink. Just like that. Do you think it's gonna work? I don't think it's gonna work, but then again, you see a lot of things on TikTok and a lot of things I'm like, it's not gonna work and then it ends up working. Cover the hole, I'm gonna take some of this tape and cover it up like that. Now we're gonna shake, shake. <gasps> I'm over here like, this is for professionals. Okay, now we're gonna open it. And try it. Do I sound different? What? <laughs> Do I sound different? Drink some more. Do I sound the same? Yeah, you sound the same. Yeah. Obviously, it does not work. I kind of already knew, I was like, this is not going to work. So what they did is they did the whole process, everything, you know, and then they did this. Oh my God, do I really sound like this? Oh my God, oh my God, this actually worked. But in reality, it was just the chipmunk voice effect. So this science experiment is fake. Don't even waste your time trying this. Wait, so everyone doesn't know you get powdered sugar from just blending sugar? If this works, we're going to be saving so much money. So of course, all you need is some sugar as well as a blender. I'm going to be using my Blender too. Shout out to Blender for sponsoring this portion of the video. So Blender is a portable mini blender. It is really easy to charge. You just need a USB cord. This is their newest generation. It's five times more powerful than Blender one. It is so powerful. If you put carrots here, it will literally turn it into juice within seconds. It also has measurements in the back. It holds up to 16 ounces of liquid. Really convenient. You take it with you everywhere and you blend on the go. It's also really easy to clean Just put soap water turn it on and it cleans by itself I personally use this all the time whenever I'm done with my workouts I do my protein shake for my protein shake I usually just use milk or frozen fruit and my protein powder and then I blend it and it tastes so good They also have matching sleeves and totes for your portable blender So if you want to get your own a blender too, I'll leave the link down below in the description box And do not forget to use my code makeup by Peter 12 for 12% off or you can take advantage of the holiday sale that they have going on right now if you buy one you get 10% off if you buy two you get 15% off and if you buy three or more you get 20% off and once again thank you so much Blender for sponsoring this portion of the video and now let's go ahead and let's see if we can turn regular sugar into powder sugar okay let's see if this actually works take our sugar put it in our blender do you think it's gonna work I think it is I don't know it's I think sugar. so too okay Let's blend. 
Okay, it's working. It's working. It's turning into powdered sugar. <gasps> yes. <gasps> All that powder. It freaking worked. Now you know. If you ever need powdered sugar and you just have regular sugar, put this in the blender and you'll end up with powdered sugar. Wow. I'm literally like mind blown right now. Okay, this next experiment seems too good to be true. Like, I just can't wrap my head around how a toothpick is going to just open this watermelon. Like, am I the only one? Do you think it's gonna work? I don't know, man. I, hey, there was no edits, no cuts, so it might work. Okay, we have our watermelon. We're gonna put our toothpick in about that much and hit it. What if we hit it? No. It, doesn't work. no. it doesn't work, guys. Unfortunately, this experiment is fake. I really wanted it to work. I really thought it was gonna work, but it didn't. So let's move on to the next one and let's hope the next experiment does work. You can try at home, get a wine glass and some water, fill up that wine glass all the way to the top, even have it overflowing just a little bit. Then get a card or something like this, you just a regular card, put it on top of the wine glass. That'll keep the water inside, even if I pour, hold it upside down. Now you may think if I let go, the water will come out, but it won't because of science. Science won't let it come out. But this, this is magic. And just in case you think I put a little thing on the bottom, I didn't. Yo, I don't know if this next experiment is science related or magic related, but we're gonna give it a try. So I have my wine glass, I have my water. We're gonna pour our water here. Taking our card. Oh, Jason, I don't know if this is gonna work. Flip it Wait, over. Relax, relax. Okay. Think light like a feather. Okay. Yeah. And then just let go. Let go of the card, right? Yeah. Do I slide it? No, no, Do don't move, it? don't move. Slide it really slow. Don't, don't move your hand. <laughs> well, that didn't go as I was expecting it to. Um, be right back. Well, I cleaned all of my mess. Now it's pretty clean, but there was literally puddles of water in the floor. So I'm gonna say this experiment was 50-50 because obviously it did work, like the water was holding with the card. It's just like the air bubble that was trapped inside kind of just like erupted and the water went everywhere. So if you can make it work, Try it at home and let me know in the comments down below if you were able to make it work because even off camera, me and Jason tried it multiple times and there was just water everywhere. So I wanna say this one is 50-50. Doesn't that look so cool? We're gonna give it a try and see if this actually works. We're going to light up our candle. Now we're gonna turn off our candle. Is gonna work? It's not working. Get it closer. Well, it's supposed to work from a distance. Why is it not working? I'm gonna try it one last time, and if it doesn't work, oh well. No. <laughs> it's not working. Okay, I don't know how everyone knows it did it, but for me, it didn't work, and I tried it multiple times. If you have done it and it worked for you, please let me know in the comments down below how you did it. So I'm gonna have to say this science experiment was a fail. It does not work. Let's move on to the next one. Here's a cool trick you can do with a balloon. So I have a balloon here, and if you put it over the flames, it should pop. But if you take a balloon filled with water and you put it over the flame, it won't pop. We're gonna try it with just air and then we're gonna try it with water. So we're going to blow some air into our balloon. Okay, now we're gonna tie our balloon. Okay, now we're gonna hold our balloon on top. 
Oh my god, that was so cool. Oh my god. Like, yo, I was ready for it, but at the same time, I was not ready that for it. That was too fast. That was so loud. Oh my god. Now we're gonna try it with water. If it pops, <laughs> you're cleaning it. I'm looking thing. scared. I cleaned it the first time. It's literally sun. touching the fire. Is it really? Yeah. That's crazy and it's not popping. So this Science experiment it does work as you can tell it burns the balloon, but it didn't actually pop the balloon So I'm gonna have to say this science experiment. It does work. You're gonna need a rubber band for this perfect Wrap the rubber band in tin foil and let's sit in the freezer for 30 seconds Next microwave for a quarter of a second Rinse the band with water and dry off When you drop the rubber band, nothing will happen at first, but now it's actually voice activated. Look, stop, go, try it. Okay, I really don't think this is going to work. I really think this is a troll, but you guys want me to try it out, so we're gonna try it out. You need a rubber band with some foil. You are going to wrap the rubber band in foil. We're going to put this in the freezer for 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds. Alexa, set timer for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Starting now. All right, I'll see you in 30 seconds. We're going to put it in the microwave for 28 seconds. No, half a second. Half a second? Yeah, that's done. You're done. That was it? Yeah, that was it. Half a second. Oh, really? Yeah. What the heck? I thought I said 20. Oh my god, I thought I said 28 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna run it underwater like that. We're gonna take our paper towel. We're going to dry it. Here comes the fun part. If you drop it the first time, it's not gonna work. But apparently, if we drop it a second time, stop. 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 Wait. Stop. <laughs> why do I do these things to myself? I really don't know. That's why we have no friends. <laughs> Period. Did he stutter? No, he didn't. Let's move on to the next science hack. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of soap, about that much. I'm gonna put it in my lips. You're about to ruin your makeup. Mm -hmm. Halfway, kind of. <laughs> mm -mm. Maybe because you have lipstick. Yeah. No. Oof, oh, no. <laughs> now I'm talking and they're just coming out. Let me wash this off, guys. I don't know how she did it because her bubbles were coming out so perfect and then mine were coming out but they were popping. So based on her video, I'm gonna say this experiment does work because like I said, hers were coming out like full bubbles and mine were kinda just popping. I think I was probably doing something wrong. But I'm gonna say, this experiment does work. All right guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do not forget to enter the giveaway. Also, if you really enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so I can notify you every single time that I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just wanna win. I just wanna yeah. LABB who we running with. Yeah.